Hi guys and welcome to another episode. Today together we're going to explore what the employee of the 80s and the 90s should have with him back in the day apart from paper and stationery, pencils and uh, whatever of course. I think it's going to be rather interesting to check what uh, he should have with him in his briefcase early in the morning starting his day on his way to work and in nowadays standards all this stuff is pretty much useless but back in the 80s and the 90s without the use of computers and the internet those things were actually a must and so we can start with an analog clock and now the employee can uh, track the time at any moment the clock was always facing uh, the employee somewhere around his desk like this and of course remember those were the days without mobile phones so yeah you actually need it and if you wanted to set up the alarm to wake you up that's even better and now since those were the days without meetings and webex and teams meetings and everything you could use an analog radio to play all day to keep you company listen to the news the weather stations whatever of course it was mostly AM back then but it would do the job now let us move to the next essential thing you should have with you back then uh, a box of diskettes and no kidding this is really essential or what used to be because there was this transfer of files from home to work and vice versa and the most important thing is that um, there was no restriction of getting data out of uh, the office and of course special diskette to boot up your system old systems and operating systems used to crash a lot and of course you could have another type of floppy drive so you could have another type of diskette with you whatever it would do and of course the employee should carry with him the appropriate software to work with and why? Because most of the workstations back then didn't have a hard disk. So you could have your software, uh, you should have your software every day with you. The next essential thing to have used to be an electronic calculator. And in most cases, a scientific calculator like this one. So you can tell already that we are piling up stuff um, on, the, on my desk. Uh, things that uh, the average employee should have with him back in the 80s and the 90s in his briefcase on his way to work and we already have a few stuff um, on my desk and we are not over yet now coming back to the calculator thing and depending on the job uh, some employees some financial guys or accountants used to have special calculators like this one to go over special functions like the calculation of NPV depreciation of assets loans and stuff like that your mortgage calculator uh, whatever was interesting and essential for their everyday jobs and what is really interesting about these uh, special calculators is the fact that they've been around since the early 70s and that that was very interesting and part of their job uh, the accountants the financial officers whatever procurement guys uh, should do and so they could have both the regular one and the financial calculator uh, with them in their briefcase another thing that piles up now and coming to the dictating machine that was mostly end of 80s special cassettes and actually it was a miniaturization of the uh, regular cassette player and recorder uh, so that you could have it in your briefcase or in your pocket and you could uh, uh, record your own voice or uh, an interview of some sort whatever uh, to keep things uh, in order and uh, reminded and um, actually used to work as a memo to yourself now let's move to the next item which is rather interesting and a hacking tool and back in the day it was so much fun using it and this is the actual DTMF decoder and dialer with a speakerphone on the back 
uh, you could dial a number close to the headset of any telephone and you could get free long distance calls that's interesting even if the the telephone device was locked you could uh, go ahead and uh, dial in um, from a distance and the speaker would transfer the DTMF tones to the telephone and actually you could place a phone call not bad at all so you think we've had enough of that no uh, not yet as uh, technology evolved uh, over the 90s uh, or the uh, late 80s those things appeared the electronic organizers to get you going and to get you well organized uh, remember those were the days without mobile phones again so what we could do we could check the time around several cities um, over the world we could set up alarms of course uh, we could um, uh, try the scheduler so we can schedule jobs and meetings we could have our own personal memo to keep notes for whatever we need to do we could have a telephone directory kind of system as a filer to keep the names and the telephone numbers of all our friends and uh, again practically we could do whatever we can do with our mobile phone today except of course with this guy we couldn't place a call it was the era when not every employee was using a computer in his everyday life and so for some those things were actually science fiction and I think it was around the mid 90s that um, also internet evolved and um, um, pretty much every employee should use a computer and should have a computer on his desk in order to do whatever he needed to do and so everybody was trying to keep up with all these technological burst and uh, evolution and so these guys um, the electronic organizers were actually trying to keep up with uh, the things um, like um, new models um, appeared like this one which actually is pretty much the same like the previous one but it has the ability to connect you to a PC or a PS2 um, IBM machine and so you could transfer files that was somehow essential uh, or actually started to be essential in your everyday life transferring files from work to home uh, work with your notes kind of word processing but not the way we mean it today but it was close and uh, you could do essential stuff those were the advanced models as you can see we have piled up a lot of stuff on my desk and imagine all those were in the briefcase of an, uh, the average employee uh, every day on his way to work back in the 80s and the 90s and uh, since we have reached the mid 90s now here is a sealed brand new uh, internet card this is somehow funny but the way you could access the internet back then with six euros for two hours was a prepaid card only a few giant companies uh, could have permanent uh, lines with the internet providers so the employees and the rest of us uh, used to work with prepaid cards to access the internet probably only after work or evening hours going over some browsing or searching for whatever as we didn't have a permanent uh, subscription uh, at home okay moving to the next item and this is your own city's map uh, a map an actual map a paper map um, used to be in the briefcase or in the car but for those commuting to work it was in the briefcase it's a city map it's a simple city map a paper old-fashioned map because you might need to go to see a client or whatever so that was somehow essential a city map in your briefcase okay for this one I won't make lots of comments uh, for those who dared to have a console a handheld console or from the 80s in the briefcase that means that they could have some spare time to spend <laughs> while at work and so they could 
play a game. Um, and if somebody asks, I have this only to check the time. Not much of an excuse. As we said before, uh, technology has brought a computer on almost every desk uh, for every employee and so you could find uh, in the briefcases uh, manuals, OS manuals, um, software manuals, hardware manuals, computer manuals, whatever man manual that was. And for those uh, lived in the early days of computing, even um, old manuals for old computers, whatever the taste, whatever the need. But it was an actual fact, the computer was here. Finally. And now something for the advanced computer users back then, for those um, handling sensitive data uh, every day, this is the HASP key. That was a parallel interface that you could uh, uh, hook up on your PC on the parallel port. The parallel port gets you to the other side um, so you can still use your printer for example, but this has a circuit inside that holds uh, some specific algorithm and only with this algorithm and this key you can log in and use specific software installed on your computer. So by the end of the day you should have your HASP key with you in your briefcase and um, by the next day uh, while getting back to work you should have it with you in order to work with uh, this specific uh, software whatever that would be. So that was the HASP key. And another less advanced technological device used to be in everybody's briefcase was a portable shaver. What if a meeting pops up out of the blue? You should have your shaver with you so you can attend the meeting, right? And so finally we went through the 15 useless stuff that you could find in a business briefcase of the average employee in the 80s and the 90s. And as you could tell, those were quite a few things. Uh, pretty useless today because now we have your, our mobile phones and everything, so we don't need them. But it was quite a step back in time and I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that too. And uh, you know the drill. Please subscribe and uh, if you have ever had any experience with any kind of the items we have uh, shown and described and presented today, let us know. Um, memories are always good. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll be catching you soon with another video, some repair, modification, uh, old time uh, electronics, uh, gaming, 8-bit uh, computing and stuff like that. You know how it is. Um, Thanks again. I'll catch you later. Bye.